Yege, what the hell are you doing? What else? Hmm? How can I be a father to Sadula's grandchild? You know it's not Kubra's fault she's Sadula's daughter, right? Why punish her? Kubra loves you a lot. And she's pregnant with your child, Yigit. Yigit, you're responsible for all that. So be responsible. It's not what I want. Okay, man? I don't want a kid. What kind of human are you, huh? This is all about you, Yigit. And you want to try and place the blame on me because you need to be an older brother to me? Yigit, man up. If our parents saw you acting like this, they would be ashamed of you. Our mother's mind no longer works. And our father isn't even alive. And who's to blame? That Sadula bastard. Sadula is to blame. But it's got nothing to do with Kubra. Kubra hasn't done anything wrong. Her father's stuck in the hospital. And right now, she's parrying your child and she needs well, you to be there for her. she needs to forget about it. Look, if I treat her sweetly, then she's going to begin dreaming all over again. Then she'll start talking about how the baby is the fruit of our passion again. Listen to me. Stay out of this and mind your own business, huh? He didn't want to talk about it. He just said he didn't want a kid. Oh, Kubra, but of course he wouldn't have agreed to have a child. We all know he's incapable of being a father. I suppose so. But perhaps he'll change his mind once the child is born. Mm, I doubt it. I wouldn't hold your breath. Daria, try to be gentle. Kubra's in a delicate state right now. We told you that you had to be careful. We told you that Yegit isn't the right man for you. I told you from the beginning. We tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen, and now look at what he's done to you. But he might change. But because once the baby's born, he might feel differently about becoming a father. Oh, Cobra, he's turning his back on you while you're pregnant, and yet you think he'll change after the child is born? You have to think about the baby right now. Look, honey, you haven't even got a job. You don't have work experience. Your father isn't going to look after this child, and Yigit doesn't want him. Where and how will you look after this baby? Let's say you do get a job. Who's going to look after him when you're at work, huh? You can't, don't expect anything. You were in a relationship two days ago, and he hasn't looked at you since you told him. You told him that you're pregnant, and he's done a 180 on you. Who knows? He might decide to leave the city if you have this baby. Regardless, it's your decision. Just think carefully about the outcome. All right. I'll end it. But I'm still afraid. But you don't have to be afraid. I'm going to go with you. Plus, I have enough money for the operation, okay, dear? We'll get through it. Wait, why are you gonna pay? He should be paying for it. <clears throat> you know that it's the least he can do. I think that we should do it tomorrow before her father gets out of the hospital. Plus, that way you won't have enough time to get used to the idea of being pregnant, you know? Okay? Cooper is getting an abortion tomorrow. Okay. I'll go ahead and cover the bill for the procedure for her. Anything else? There is. She didn't get pregnant all by herself, so you need to go with her. 
Sybil will be going with you too. Cooper shouldn't be all alone. She'll get her operation eventually. Come on, Daria, don't get me involved in all this, all right? How am I getting you involved in this matter? That baby is yours, you did this to yourself. Look, Yigit, Kubra's suffering over all this. Try to be a man, at least. All right, all right, then we can go in the morning. <laughs> How kind of you. <laughs>